So yesterday I had some free time and I decided to take a closer look at the Python documentation and I found some interesting information regarding one of the inbuilt functions. And this is something I didn't know anything about, so I'm just going to cover it in this lesson. And the example is going to use a variable to get started with. So we're just going to call this variable and it's going to be equal to x. And what we're going to be going over is the callable function. And what callable does is check that whatever we decide to pass inside is callable. So of course, if we try to pass in the variable, we're going to get false as a return because you cannot call a string. But if we go ahead and try to call a function instead, so if we go ahead and create, let's say function, and it's just going to be a placeholder function, so it's going to pass. But if we decide to try to call function, it's going to pass this to true because function is callable. Now, all of this was fairly simple, but the real interesting part that I found out about this callable function actually had to do with classes. So if we go ahead and create a class, and here I just went ahead and created an engine, we can go ahead and define a Dunder method called call. And it's going to take some arguments and some keyword arguments, and that's just by default. And here we can create a check if args, print args, if keyword arguments, we'll just go ahead and print the keyword arguments. And that's just stuff you can play around with, but what we really want to concentrate on is that we can run this engine. So running engine with an exclamation mark, since it is a loud engine. So now we have an engine with a Dunder method called call. So we're going to instantiate this engine. And usually if you pass an engine inside the callable function, it's not going to return that it is callable. It's going to return false. But by adding the call to the class, it has now become callable. And just to demonstrate that, we can remove this and we can try to run the program again. And we're going to get false because in general, classes are not callable. But by making this class callable, we can now rerun the program and it's going to evaluate to true. So now that the engine's actually callable, what that means is that we can actually use it as a function. Not only is it an instance of the actual class, it has now effectively become a function. So inside here we can pass in BMW and we can say and we can say that the fuel is equal to electric. And when we run this program, it's going to return to us first the arguments and then the keyword arguments, and then it's going to run the engine. And we did not have to insert these to run the class, but that was just to show you that you could play around with that. If we don't insert anything, it's just going to say running the engine. So for me, learning about callable wasn't all that interesting, but learning that you could use it with a class was incredibly interesting. Now, finally, just to show you one more example of how you could possibly use the callable inbuilt function, we can go ahead and create a for loop that says for function in engine variable and function. We're going to go ahead and check if callable and we pass in the function, we're going to call that function. So that's another neat trick you can use to try to run functions that are actually callable. In case for some odd reason you have a mix of functions and variables and random data types in a list, this can simplify that process of actually being able to call what is actually callable. Now we're not going to see anything if function gets run, so we're just going to go ahead and print function. And now if we run this program, we'll see that we will run the engine and we will run the function inside our for loop. But anyways, guys, that was just some extra information about the callable function. What I found most interesting about this was the call dunder method, which allows us to create functions directly from our class instances. But with that being said, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's lesson. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.